Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I have wool and the gang wool, but we'll get to that in a moment. So you see the project or back we're doing. I did it in chains and apart from the handle on top, um, that one is out of single crochets and um, here on top around the edges of the bag, I did some singles as well, but all the rest is just chains and it's super simple. Stay tuned. Let's start with wool and the gang. So we have one wool here, hashtag made unique, mixtape yarn is the name. And this is out of recycled t-shirts, 80% cotton and 20% polyester. Then we have 250 grams and we don't get any other info about needle size. So I thought I'd just try it out with um, my six millimeter needle and yeah, the color is beach pink. So let's get started. Let's start with some chains. We will actually start from the bottom. So the chains we are doing now are gonna be the bottom or the base of our bag. So yeah, we are doing it from bottom to top. So the only thing you gotta take care of is that you do a number of chains that can be divided by three. And in my case, I am doing 21. Twenty and twenty-one. Okay, so this is our width and this will be a bit wider in just a moment. So let's now put our thumb onto our first chain. So these two are gonna build the corner of our bag. The one corner, so we need five additional chains for that. Leave these two out and simply do a slip stitch into the third chain and that's how we got our corner. One, two, three and four. We will always do a total of five. Leave two out and go into the third chain and just keep doing that all around. Leave two out. Four and five, leave two out, slip stitch and finish the whole side. Last five chains, we end with our last chain from our basis. Here we are now. So the chains we started with and then the bows we did right after that. So now we are continuing on the other side. For that, just take your piece and turn it. And do again five chains. And now go here into this spot. So you can find these spots super easy and just continue with the slip stitches. And again repeat till the end of the chains. So here we are at the end now. I left these two out and here is our first chain. Now go through and secure the last five chain structure.
slip stitch and that's how we ended the first row so to say. So we have our base now and on each of these two sides we are continuing to give our back some height. So for now we are repeating the five chains. And now around here, around this bow, we go through and connect with a slip stitch. So it's even easier and it was already easy to begin with. So now we basically go over two bows with one. So one bow above each slip stitch. So that way the slip stitch in one row will be the midsection of the bow in our next row. And go around the same way. So on this side we now just continue, just go over to the other side. So you see here after a couple of rows now it's already getting its shape although it looks like a little basket but the more we work the more it will look like a bag. So just continue the little five chain bows and after a couple of more rows you'll see the results even better. So here is my bag now after a while and I think I'll end here. So you see I'm here on the side, so now I'll change tactics by doing single crochets around the bows. Two more. Four. And always four per bow. Here I am after the singles row. So now we will do the handles and I will do a long sequence of chains. I'm thinking 40 to 50. Twenty-eight. Um, good for about half. I'll do a bit more. And here we are now. Now it has a handle shape and I can now connect it to the other side with a slip stitch. I didn't exactly count the chains, but feel free to do as many as you like. Mine is about 50 to 60 chains. Here comes a slip stitch and now I'll go here around the chains like this. And now I'll simply do singles around the chains I already have. So not going through but really around.
here I am again at the end. So now you see the whole handle. Let's secure it with a slip stitch. I have just a little bit left, which is great. So let's now really finish off. So cut off and then pull out. We need to weave that in, but all in all we are done. So the shape is now really stable and you can see how nice this looks now. So whatever the size you're looking for, this is a good method to get a nice, stable, sturdy bag. So yeah, let me know you guys what you think. Um, yeah. If you like the shape, if you would do it maybe bigger or smaller or just like this, um, let me know how you like the handles. I have to say they are pretty solid too. So yeah, this is a very fast and simple project to do with an awesome result in the end. Let me know what you think. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up if you enjoyed. You can also share this with your friends, that would be awesome. And you can subscribe to our channel, that way you'll always get notified when we post new videos and you can also see our older videos and projects we already did. So thanks for watching DIY Ideas, I'll see you in the next project. Until then, have a great day! Bye!